This is the 22nd century, the land renewed, the air and water pure again. The conflicts of the past are gone. It is a new earth, new peoples and new customs. In some places, bizarre savagery. In others, advanced cities. Everywhere, new challenge and new adventure. And this is also the story of Dylan Hunt, lost in 1979 in a suspended animation accident. Over a century and a half later, in the year 2133, he was found and awakened by the people of this city called Pax, peace. The one place on Earth which escaped the final conflict of the 20th century. The one place on Earth where civilization did not perish. Dylan Hunt is one of them now, leader of a Pax science team exploring a much changed world. Part of the Pax dream of rebuilding on Earth a new and wiser civilization. Their mission is mankind. Rebirth of planet Earth. Dylan Hunt, log report to the PAX Council. Per instructions, we were escorting Peter Kimbridge on a survey which has confirmed that Central California is now an inland sea. Population along the shores, a handsome racial mixture, illiterate but intelligent. Although the land remains fertile, famine is common. Their primary need from us is education and agricultural techniques. With those facts determined, we headed homeward when the ambush occurred. They were Kriegs that mutated form of human capable of understanding only machinery and warfare. It was clear that they recognized who we were and wanted us alive, possibly because they've heard that underground sub-shuttle tubes honeycombed the Earth and that only we of Pax know the secret. Slowing our progress was the age of Peter Kimbridge, his rapid exhaustion. Each of us in turn tried to divert the Krieg vehicle while the others moved Kimbridge nearer and nearer a sub-shuttle tube entrance where we hoped to escape. Team, switch to XY tranquilizers. Our standard hypos aren't stopping them. Message received. We're reloading. Isaiah, divert them. Isaiah! Things from your century? Yeah, we call them automobiles. It's fantastic that it's still running. It's a late 1970s chassis with a converted wood gas fuel system. Uh -huh. 